So you know guys, I was debating if, if I should post this video or not and then I said, you know what, why not? Just to show how I, I went about fishing my first bass tournament. How I went with the rigging, with the uh, covering water, and you know, um, I would say it's not really a good video. There's not really that much fish catches. Maybe we should ask Max what he thinks about this video. Should we post this video, Max? Caught, caught him at the wrong moment. We'll ask him again later. It was a tough weekend. I was fighting with the wind. And the fact that we had a full moon um, maybe had something to do with it too. So I don't know if uh, because we had a full moon it had something to do with it too, but I think a lot of people were having a hard time. So in the following, you just see a clip of me narrating um, how I tackled the tournament. So I'm at the lake, rigging, getting ready to go fish the tournament first day. Put my top water, I'm going to tie on my frog, popping frog. And I like to do a uni knot with this. My go-to knot for uh, almost everything, braid, fluorocarbon. Mind you, I should have rigged up the night before because I'm just doing it right now, waiting for the whistle to blow so we can all go and fish the rest of um, I'm here on one of my rods that had the chatterbait tied on, so I decided to take it off. And because it's windy and cloud covered, I'm going to put on a spitterbait. There goes the horn, and I'm not even ready. So I quickly tie on my uh, spitterbait on, and start fishing. Now you can see here I changed the frog, I put a different, I put a buzz toad on it. And I start covering a lot of water, I want to cover water fast. So you know this toad did this little splashing axis with the legs. You know I'm trolling along and I'm, I'm casting to shore bringing it back in quickly. Just because I want to cover a lot of water. See if um, if I get anything to blow up I would stay there. Throw in a sanko and uh, try to commit to that fish. So for a good portion of the morning this is what I did. I'm um, covering the, sh the shoreline, uh, the islands. Anywhere where you got trees overhanging, just throwing in the buzz toad. Two hours later, the um, top water bite is pretty much dead, so that's when I switched over to, to pitching a Texas Red Craw. I had it on the uh, half ounce tungsten weight pegged with a four out, four out hook, and the craw I was using was a, was a Strike King um, Rage Craw, coffee scented. My favorite craw to use. Sometimes I dip them in spike it, but I just I decided not to. So same deal. I was pitching on to cover the the laydowns, the overhanging trees, uh, trying to get some uh, bites in there. And what I was doing, I was just pitching. I would let it fall. Once I feel it touch the bottom, I'll just give it a little shake and bring it back to the boat, and then move on from there. One thing I did find key, if, if uh, the pitching wasn't working, is doing like a side cast, like an underhand cast, work really good to get underneath the overhanging trees, or in a uh, little tight pocket. Okay, so a little update on the uh, tournament. I've got skunk so far. It is 12 o'clock. We got three more hours to fish. Hopefully, I can get like I don't know two, three pound bass to get me on the board. Uh, let's see how this goes.
Thanks very much. Is there a big one in there? These ones are going to get released in the boat. Those ones? These ones are all released in the boat. Is that the, is that the biggest one in there? No. We got Lego already? Oh, nice. How big is that guy? Uh, it's like two, two pounds, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. It's certainly a healthy fish. It's a nice sized fish. So this is the leaderboard. 4.25 is the biggest one. 19 inch, 19.7. So this is the end of day one. We didn't really do that good today. Uh, didn't even get on the board. Only caught some uh, rock bass. All the boaters are taking their boats out of the lake. And because I'm renting, it got returned. I don't know about you guys, but I'm just going to go home, have lunch, relax. I'm going to rig for tomorrow. I got to change up my game plan. I don't know. Flipping is still it's still going to be my go-to tomorrow. Um, probably a square bill. Again, no, maybe a rattle trap. And, um, and a frog again. I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. Hopefully tomorrow's a better day. I really want to get on the board. Um, I really doubt I get first place. I'm new to the whole tournament scene, but if, you know, I would love to get... I would love to get second or third, for sure. But hey, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Okay, guys, see ya. You know, it was a little intimidating to get to the lake, and you get there, and you see 50 other anglers ready to just go. And as soon as the bell goes, they're, they're, they're going fast. Especially the kayakers. Those guys can paddle really fast. So for day two, not much really happened. Uh, same deal. Um, day two was even windier. I'm not gonna put any footage of day two because it was about the same thing. Uh, I did some pitching. I did some top water. Changed up to the spinner bait, chatter bait, uh, swim baits. I threw quite a bit out there, but uh, no luck. So what I did add here is. Uh, the footage of the winner receiving his prize which Oliver give a shout out to Oliver he did a really good job also um, I did meet quite a few uh, new people some cool people out there some people that are really into the uh, kayaking um, scene which is something I want to get into I want to buy a kayak eventually you know, get out in the water and uh, get off the shore essentially so so yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, thanks for watching. Leave down in the comments, how do you tackle tournaments? What do you do to get ready? And what do you, and what do, you do when you're having a hard time in the water? Okay guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Oliver's coming up here to get first place bass, a check for $2,500. Sorry, a promissory note for $2,500. <laughs> Score 2536 and a fairly good bass. Oliver, uh, you're the man this year. Yeah. This six outing too. This six time out.